What is going on everyone? Gaston is photo right here. What is so different about this shoot is that I'm gonna be using full frame camera but I'm gonna be using APS-C lenses. There's another video that I posted that I talk about why I like to shoot full frame camera with APS-C lens when I travel. You can go and check that video uh, in the description or right over here. Also wanna let you know that the audio that you're gonna be listening today actually comes from this new Rode little device. So excuse the sound right now, but this is the little device. It's called the uh, Rode Wireless Go. The lenses that I'm gonna be shooting with today is going to be this one right here, which is my zoom lens, the 16 to 70. Uh, this is an APS-C lens, just like those. I'm gonna be shooting with a Sigma uh, 56 millimeters f1.4, and probably we're gonna be doing full body with a 35 millimeter, again, APS-C. Now, these two lenses, the 16 and the 70, and the 35 millimeter, they have image stabilization, but you know, once you pair it with this, uh, with a Sony full frame, actually it doesn't matter because the stabilization on the camera is way better than any stabilization on these lenses. The light that I'm gonna be using is this Slash Point 600 watts, so we're gonna be shooting high speed sync today as well. Okay, so here we go with the uh, 56 millimeter, let's do it. The other thing that I'm doing, I'm shooting without the second level of diffusion because I want to get that spectacular or kind of like beauty dish look. So I have only the center diffusion level that will give us a soft look, but still give us that metallic look on the skin. So now we're going to try to catch some of the golds from this reflector right here. So we got the light hitting the face and hopefully bouncing off the reflector and hitting her face. Perfect. So again, we're shooting all this time APS-C mode, uh, full frame camera, and what I'm seeing through the lens, what I'm seeing here in the viewfinder is incredible. One of the things that I like about full frame is the D-pad. You know, even the A6400, you can actually scroll, you know, find your focus point by uh, hovering your thumb right here in the corner, but it's not the same. This is super, super accurate. So again, this is the setup. Like getting really close from your subject can be a little bit of a challenge, trying to focus in and nail the, the depth, right? So going for the eye makes it a lot easier, but you still can get undesired results. So I always try to shoot now so close to the subject and if, you know, sometimes I, I punch and impose if I, if I want, you know, if I want to get a little bit closer, but Obviously not too far now to close, that's actually the, uh, or use a lens, you know, longer lens, like a, you know, 135, something like that. This is like equivalent to a, I believe, 75, 80 millimeters, 56.
So now we're gonna shoot with a 35 millimeter f1.8. We should get awesome shallow depth of feel. I'm gonna try to shoot uh, half body, full body shots, and this lens should do the job. So let's see how it performs. Look more into the, the light so your face is a little bit lit. I am going to shoot with a 16 to 70 a little video so you guys can see I'm going to play right now uh, to see how stable this camera is with this lens. And this concludes this video, shooting full frame with APS-C frame, one of my best preferences when it comes to traveling, packing light gear without compromising features. So this is what I've been doing for the past months and uh, I hope you like the results. Uh, drop your comments down below and if you wanna follow Lulu, your Instagram is? BMU by Lulu. And what's mine? Gaston S. Photo. I'll see you later, take care.